there's a lot of young people in Cambodia. Almost 35% of the population is between 10 and 24 years of age. Because services have had to be rebuilt from nothing over the past 30 years, most of those young people are unskilled and only partially educated. They are facing many problems, even if they do constitute the wealth of this country, you know. Every day, 700 young people enter into the labor market. 300,000 young people per year. They are all facing the fact that they lack information uh, concerning reproductive health, for example, sexuality, and HIV AIDS. តាមរយៈការធ្វើការជាមួយយើងជូនខ្មែរនៅតាមតំបន់ <coughs> And these, these are all sort of big issues that uh, the government needs to deal with because it's a very large young population, uh, because this young population represents the future uh, of, of Cambodia, um, and because it's not something that you can just cut up into here's an education problem and here's, an, here's a health problem and here's, a, here's an employment problem and so on. We've got to look at the, this population in a holistic manner. The approach which was chosen by the government was really an intersectoral approach, facilitating the participation of all concerned ministries. Education, of course, health, gender, Ministry of Culture, Ministry of Finance. The Ministry of Education is assigned by the Royal Government of Cambodia as the lead government agency to coordinate this process among the line ministries of the government, the United Nations Development Partner and the Youth Organization. Chlong tam rya dam na ka da yeung ban thvo ko da yo bai samrap apibot chuot chuon Campuchia. Yeung mue khoeng tha Campuchia ban thvo lo muoi trang chom noi tha yeung ban mien phiep je je dai ku nei khong ka je chei phiep sa nei khong dam na ka nei ka thvo ko da yo bai ni. Hai da ang ka sang kum si voi muoi chom noi tre ban prao lo ka. เอาเลือกยกอัมพีปัญหาរបស់យុវជនហើយនឹងយើងមានការកិច្ចពីគ្រោះយោបាយជាសាធារណៈដែលបង្ហាញថាយើងមានភាពចាស់ទំនៅក
to, to be drawn to support the content of the policy. That was where we uh, invite the UN Youth Focal Point. That was a group of young people working in different UN agencies and they were able, in fact, to constantly contribute, in fact, to the reflection on this, uh, on this policy. I think the UN contributed also enormously in facilitating this process. The UN funded a UN liaison officer, and I think that was important in providing technical expertise, also facilitating the dialogue between the government and partners. It helped a lot. The other element is the evidence basis for the policy. The, the fact that we, we, com we completed initially a situation analysis of youth in Cambodia and that gave us all of the elements that were needed to address through policy and, and then subsequently now working on the, the action program. There were several ways, in fact, uh, young people participated. They participated through NGOs, through a Khmer Youth Association, grouping all these NGOs, and they were doing a lot of work in the field, in fact, to collect information, data, through radio, television, promoting that, and requesting young people to participate. These mechanisms were essential, in fact, to have the voice of the young people during the preparation of this policy. ពួកខ្ញុំស្មាគមយុវជនខ្មែរហ្នឹងបានរៀបចំសិក្ខាសាលាជាច្រើនហើយបានមានរៀបចំពាក់ប្ដោះប្ដាលសិក្ខាសា
regular meetings. It's very important to be related to the UN as a system because the UN can provide a lot. And it's very good also to have this frank dialogue with the civil society, the youth association, UN agencies, to talk about right issues, for example, to debate that and to put it on the table and to have also a frank dialogue concerning gender issues. It's important to have the process that encourage the involvement from all the concerned stakeholders, the government, the United Nations, the civil society, development partner, the private sector, and young people together. And this process should be supported by strong commitment from the government, because it's, it's a government policy. Because it gives a new impulse to many programs existing. As UN agencies, we all have our own program concerning youth. And this youth policy will give a new impulse to all these programs, will give more visibility, and will uh, reassure the fact that the UN cares for young people in Cambodia. This is a good example of how it can work and how you can bring together different parts of government and ally them to civil society so that everyone's moving in the right direction. And finally, we are happy with our process, with our product, and everybody is ready to continue taking forward the implementation. ຕາມຍາກົນຢູ່ໃບຊິດສະແມບອະພິວັດຢູ່ຈົນນັ້ນ <coughs> Kim Sang Kham Tha, a ឬវត្តាភិបាលនឹងដៃគូពាក់ព័ន្ធទាំងអស់នឹងចាប់ផ្ដើមទិសបតិការគ្នាហើយអនុវត្តនៅគុណនយោបាយដែលបានអនុម